Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I hope you don't get tired of hearing this. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Depiction of Aztec Empire on the left, versus the University of Oxford. Judging by the mainstream, it appears that the University of Oxford is older than the Aztec Empire itself. The University of Oxford first opened its doors to students all the way back in 1096. However since the history has been rewritten, we can't say for sure when were these buildings actually created. By comparison, the mainstream history dates Aztec Empire to be originated with the founding of the city of Tenochtitlan, which occurred in the year 1325. In 1886, a large expedition of scientists landed on Easter Island, who spent three years exploring the island, described everything they found, made maps and systematized objects. The results came out in 1891, but the most outstanding asset of the island, the statues of Moi paid scant attention. Sketched one billet to the giant Moi in the quarry, and now there are two of them. There are five ready-made icons, but there are 887 of them on the island, what is the meaning of this? And even the photo of buried Moi, when compared with the sketch, doesn't fit together. The head of the statue is turned either with the temple to the wall, or the back of the head. Like the falsifiers who drew the pyramids. When faking history and deciding here and there to add a couple of hundred years for antiquity, the main thing, to clean up all the tales. There is such a science of numismatics, and it too should not be neglected. You can, of course, buy all the numismatists, but it would be too expensive. What are dangerous collectors of ancient coins? At least because they ask uncomfortable questions. Why is a Roman coin depicting the Arabic style of writing, which will appear only 600 years after the emperor depicted on it? Brihadaswara Temple Located in Tanjavur in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, the Brihadaswara Temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva. It is one of India's largest temples, and is an example of Dravidian architecture from the Chola period. The temple was reportedly built by Raja Chola I, and was completed in 1010 AD. The temple is 1000 years old. It has a massive 40 meter vimana, one of the largest in the world. Interestingly, the entire temple complex is built of granite, and the nearest spring is about 60 kilometers from the temple. It is believed that about 130,000 tons of granite were used in its construction. One of the largest works is the Kumbham, a circular structure on top of the temple, made of granite and weighing about 80 tons. Now think for a moment, how the ancients managed to move these massive blocks, and put the 80-ton statue on top of the temple, over 1,000 years ago. The sensational find was made in 2008 by archaeologists from Bristol University. During excavations on the grounds of the Chateau Gaillard in France, scientists found an ancient bicycle. It had been in the ground two meters deep for about 900 years. Incredibly, the ancient bicycle was equipped with a steering wheel, frame, comfortable saddle, equal size wheels with spokes, pedals, and most importantly, a chain gear. This is amazing. How in the 12th century could a man invent and assemble such a mechanism? The first semblance of the modern bicycle was created only seven centuries later. The 
Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Technology that science keeps out of the population. In 1920, engineer Royal Rife created the world's first ultraviolet microscope with a magnification of 50,000 times. It allowed us to see a living virus. Fifteen years later, Rife created a frequency generator whose radiation affected pathogenic microflora without damaging the surrounding tissue. Fourteen fully documented cases of complete healing of cancer patients, and the use of his generator, was banned in the United States. Experiments with the frequency generator were repeated by our contemporaries, confirmed the simplicity and effectiveness of the method to combat viruses and pathogens. But the official medicine has refused to recognize the development. The so-called Star of David was derived from the symbol, in fact, there was no David to start out with. The symbol of electromagnetic force that unified with dielectric force to form electricity. White light versus darkness. The wars between good and evil is the none other than the two polarities of yin and yang. Two opposing forces that holds the universe together. As above so below. The vibrational frequencies of expansion and contraction. What constitutes in the macrocosmo it also constituted in the microcosm. The universe in us. The Pyramid of Giza holds the key to this knowledge. The sacred secret of sacred geometry, golden ratio or Fibonacci numbers, is the mathematical formula of creation. What do you think? In 2015, archaeologists in India discovered a group of skeletons from one of the world's most ancient empires, findings that provide clues about the first human settlements of the Indus Valley Civilization, which appeared around 5,000 years ago. This was a civilization that extended across India, modern-day Pakistan, and the northeast of Afghanistan. The skeletons were found in a graveyard at Rakagarhi village in Hysar, a site near the 1934 discovery of a massive ancient giant skeleton, as reported in the August 10, 1934, edition of the Argus. Giant prehistoric ape, skeleton 31 one half feet long found. The sensational discovery of a skeleton believed to be a prehistoric giant ape, measuring 31 feet 6 inches in length, is reported from Jabalpur. The discovery was made by a farmer who noticed a bone protruding from the sand on the riverbank near the village of Jinteha. Attempts to dislodge the skeleton with the aid of other villagers failed, whereupon the chief of the state had the skeleton dug out. Three men were required to lift it, the legs alone measuring 10 feet. The skeleton has been placed in the palace of the chief pending examination by geologists, among whom the discovery has created enormous interest. The Jabalpur district is renowned for its wealth of fossilized relics of an earlier age, the last important discovery three years ago, being the remains of a giant prehistoric mammal reputed to be centuries old. Some believed these bones to be those of Hanuman, the giant monkey god of Hindu legend. He also left his footprints throughout India, or at least some sort of giant humanoid being did. One of these four-foot-long footprints, which would also make the giant over 30 feet tall, can be seen at a temple in Lapakshi, a small village in Andhra Pradesh. Some Hindu and Jain sects believe that Hanuman was not a real ape, but a human-like giant with slight physical variations. Sacred texts from many ancient civilizations describe these giants as hybrids between gods and humans. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.